Hi, I'm Dr. Tayani. Today we we're going to talk about uh, different causes of tearing. Uh, it's interesting how we see a lot of patients with tearing problems. Uh, most commonly they think there's a lot of water, which obviously there is, but uh, the most common cause of tearing is actually dry eye syndrome. But there are some other uh, causes of tearing, and as an oculoplastic surgeon, when I see a patient, and I do see a lot of patients with dry eyes and or tearing problems, uh, my job is to really determine what is the cause of tearing. And there are three main categories of uh, causes of tearing. Number one, like I said, dry eye syndrome, which typically is uh, a rule out, a diagnosis by exclusion. And the other causes are some form of blockage. In the eye, there is, uh, it's just like a kitchen sink. You've got a drain hole, and then you got piping that goes down into the back of the throat. Those areas, if there's any blockage, that can be a cause of tearing. And third is some kind of an eyelid deformity. If the eyelid is out like this, that's called ectropion, or inward, when it turns in, it's called entropion. In those scenarios, the eyelid deformity can cause the pump mechanism where the tears exit the drain piping system through a, uh, a process called peristalsis, which is sort of a tube just getting um, squeezed like this, going forward and pushes the tears down into the nasolacrimal duct. So if there's any form of abnormality there, that's a malformation of the tear of the eyelid. You have a blockage of the nasolacrimal system, which can start at the very opening of the drain hole, which is called the punctum. So if that's covered or blocked, or any way, any, pro, any step of the process through the piping system could be a blockage of the nasolacrimal duct and or dry eye syndrome like we talked about. Um, for the most part, I'm gonna go through it real quick uh, and then we have another uh, video that we can talk about uh, each one of those in depth. But dry eye syndrome, we typically treat with artificial tears or and or other things like warm compresses or there's a myriad of other things that we can add which again we'll go into details in a separate video but the blocked tear duct that could be as simple as a little snip of the opening the drain hole or it could be more complicated uh, a process called a procedure called dacryocystorhinostomy dcr that's a procedure where patients are put to sleep where we do a bypass, just like an open heart bypass for the heart, we do a bypass of the nasolacrimal system. And or, if it's a malposition of the eyelid, then we position the lid properly. And we make it more taut so the lid could work better in pushing the tears away from the eye. That covers, for the most part, the uh, summary of what most causes of tearing is. And um, again, come back to our videos and you'll see a lot more detail on the different diagnoses. This was Dr. Tayani. Thanks for watching, till next time.